So now I have the distinct pleasure and honor of recognizing our past president for 2021, my friend, Bob Ike. Bob was a member of the council since he became a superintendent in 2004, and then obviously worked his way through the executive committee and served as our president last year. He is also currently and remains an active participant in the state legislative membership and distinguished service committees. Bob has also been the co-chair of the Snapshot Committee since 2011, and in that role, he co-authored one of the most significant leadership studies in the nation, the Snapshot of the Superintendency. In 2018, Bob proudly represented us as the New York State Superintendent of the Year. A courageous leader is someone who stands up for what you believe in, makes decisions, speaks what's on their mind, listens to others, tries something new, forgets perfection, takes risks, acknowledges their weaknesses, imagines the aftermath, blocks out the negative voices, controls what they can, and releases the rest, and most importantly, never gives up. These are the traits that epitomize Bob Icke. Taking on the presidency of this esteemed organization is daunting enough, but doing it this past year in the height of a pandemic with uncertainty surrounding us and where courageous leadership was the only thing that would get us through, Bob Icke stood up and assumed that role. Anyone who participated in any of last year's events were comforted knowing that he was at the helm. He remained calm, he remained focused, he remained genuine. That's the Bob Ike we all know and love. So it is now my great pleasure to call Bob to the podium and recognize him as the past president of the 2020-21 school year New York State Council of School Superintendents, Bob. Thank you very much. Thank you, Phyllis. I want to share just one short example of the power that a group of committed people can make for positive change because it reflects the work that every one of you are doing each and every day in our schools. I'm honored to be a member of my local Rotary Club and Rotary International like I know many of you are. In 1985, Rotary launched a campaign called Polio Plus to make polio eradication a top priority. And 36 years later, yes, it's a long time, but the results are clear. In 2020, Africa was declared free of the wild polio virus. The challenge now is to eradicate the wild polio virus in the two countries where the disease has never been stopped, Afghanistan and Pakistan. The good news, there have only been two new cases of polio reported in all of 2021, two. Like this example, despite challenges to our collective efforts to stop the spread of COVID-19, there's good news to come. With time, effort, and consistency, we can redirect false narratives about equity, about the pandemic, about public schools, about teachers, about the work we do, we can change that false narrative to ensure kids grow to be healthy individuals. In his famous poem, Robert Fulham wrote, all I, ever, all I need to know I learned in kindergarten, he wrote this. It's true, no matter how old you are, when you go out into the world, it's best to hold hands and stick together. I want to thank all of you for your support during my largely virtual presidency. I want to give a special thanks to the past presidents and a giant shout out to the council staff for how they continue to share their remarkable talents with all of us. I wish my colleague, Dr. Harrington, all the best in her presidency, 
And please remember this. True leaders lead. I thought about that. I promise YMCA is not going to start playing right now. <laughs> true, true leaders lead. That means we stick together in this world. We are the New York State Council of School Superintendents. Our communities, our schools, and most importantly, New York's kids are depending on all of us. Thank you for all you do each and every day, and I wish you the best as you go out back into your communities and lead the schools in all of New York State. Thank you so much.